Is reality nothing more than matter or material? Is everything physical? Physicalism answers yes to these questions. We have come to understand an awful lot of things in the world through experimentation that starts with the assumption that physical explanations are often adequate. We understand a lot about the physical organ that we call the brain, but the mind is a little bit trickier. If physicalism is true, then consciousness is necessarily an operation of our physical brain. David Chalmers is a philosopher of mind and he challenges physicalism with a thought experiment. In his argument, he proposes the idea of a philosophical zombie. Philosophical zombies are not like these zombies. Philosophical zombies look like this. Yeah, they look exactly like a regular human being. They look like us because physically they are identical to us, down to the atomic and the molecular level. They have a brain that is identical to ours. They react to things exactly like we do. They are exactly like us except for one thing. They lack consciousness. Philosophical zombies have no consciousness, no subjective experience. What does that mean? In a TED talk in 2014, Chalmers explains consciousness as a movie that plays in our minds. And it's pretty great. It's in 3D. It has smell and tastes and you can feel things. In it, we have a sense of body, pain and hunger, and there are emotions and memories and a constant voiceover narrative. This movie is your stream of consciousness. The zombies don't have this. When a zombie takes a bite of a watermelon, say, he looks just like a person when he does it. But the zombie has no subjective experience or feeling that accompanies the bite. When I, a conscious being, bites on watermelon, I am aware of the distinct taste and the coolness and the wateriness and the smell and how this watermelon is better than all the watermelons I had last year. The zombie has none of these subjective experiences. So Chalmers first asks us to imagine this kind of zombie. He next asks us if zombies are possible, not if they exist but if they are possible if reality was something different than it is now. Some things are not possible. They possess an inherent contradiction. You can't imagine a three-sided square or a married bachelor. They're impossible. A unicorn is conceivable because we know about horses and narwhals. Unicorns are possible. They just don't exist in our reality. Having two unicorns that are atom for atom identical in every respect but also one of them is heavier than the other is impossible. We can't conceive of such a thing because even if you change the laws of physics, you can't change them in such a way as to make anything that is determined by the atoms to be different in two identical unicorns. Having them be different is metaphysically impossible because it can't happen in any universe. So is the philosophical zombie a possibility or an impossibility? Chalmers says that it's possible. Then Chalmers goes to the next step of his argument. The possibility of such zombies would imply that consciousness is not a physical process that can be fully explained by the workings of the brain, but instead is a non-physical separate entity. Wait, how did he get there? Well, if the zombies are completely identical to us physically, and consciousness has a physical explanation, then the zombies would be conscious. <laughs> but since they don't have such experiences, then consciousness is not physical. So he concludes that physicalism is not true. Chalmers' concept of zombies is a thought experiment, and it's not meant to be taken as a literal possibility. But it's a tool to explore the mind-body problem. Chalmers believes that consciousness is not a byproduct of physical processes, but a fundamental aspect of the universe. And this is what makes the zombie thought experiment interesting. So what does this zombie argument have to do with this channel? Nothing really except for the word zombie is in the title. Well, that's not exactly true. I am arguing in all the zombie videos that zombies come to us in a way that challenges our conception of ourselves. On a popular level, we in our culture can sometimes tacitly accept the physicalist view of the world. Chalmers zombies challenge that notion. But so do our zombies in a sense. The last four videos were kind of about that. The next zombie video will be about what I call the zombie malaise. Thank you, and we'll see you there.